And we're back. Sorry about that. Let's, uh... Well, I guess now what we can do... Are we walking on a train track again? Is that... Alan, you remember what happened last time we went to the damn train tracks? Nothing good. Nothing good at all. Why am I pushing this thing? Excuse me? I don't care. It's just birds. They're not scary. Now we have a half-decent flashlight. Like... Why even send that at me? And also, why are we pushing this thing? Don't we go around? We're almost definitely gonna break this thing in half. Sorry if you could hear that clicking really loud. My mouse has to be pretty close to my mic. And it's very rare we have to spam the left click button as much as this. Oh, I just threw it over there. You could have quite easily gone around, Alan. You're just, you're just such a goddamn vandal, aren't you? What an asshole. You really think that was a good idea, birds? No. Get the hell out of here. You're still not dead. Oh, they regenerate. Are they the only enemies that regenerate? Or does everyone do it and I just haven't noticed? I don't know, but either way, it's very annoying. Unless that was a whole new set of birds. Because they didn't seem like they regenerated then. That was strange. Ah! Why did you... Go away! That one wasn't fair. They came out of the ground. Huh. <sighs> A lot of weird darkness mines here again. Not dr they're just everywhere. They this, this, they've just decided that this is the bird area. Okay. Great. Thanks. The most annoying enemy in the damn game, just constantly. Go away, there you go. Can I get inside somewhere? Very much appreciate a few less birds right now. Oh, come on! They're, ev they're just enemies everywhere! When you're constantly fighting, the game's flaws really uh, come into play. It's it's really blatant. So I really don't understand why they put so much of a focus on the fighting aspect in what's meant to be the game's most intense chapter. The best part of this game's intensity is the atmosphere. Absolutely not the combat. What get? I mean, it's fine for what is sort of a survival horror game to have poor combat, you know? Silent Hill, Resident Evil. The early Resident Evils, I should say. Um... Not the best combat, definitely not the best, but that's on purpose because then it's more of an incentive to run instead of fight, right? Because fighting isn't as much of an option. This In this game, if you friggin' fight, I mean, if you don't fight, you die. You have to fight. Which obviously happens at some point in Resi and Silent Hill, but not endlessly. And it's just strange, it's, it's such a strange inclusion to me. It's not necessarily a bad thing, and obviously it's remedies like, um... So, you know, third ever game, I think. They did Max Payne 1 and 2 and then did this. But, and you know, it was their first game that wasn't Max Payne. I think they self-published this, unless it was done by Xbox. I can't really remember. But, it, I don't know, it's just, it's strange. Strange choices a lot in the, uh, in the final chapter. I just hope it isn't as long as it seems. If we've got to get all the way back to Mirror Peak, I mean, it's going to take a long damn time. And give the game a lot of chances to throw more enemies at us. Like this. Of course, we got some speedy boys again. Fine, just get flashbang. You can't beat a flashbang. You can't beat multiple flashbangs then. Are they still here or did I kill them? I'm getting frustrated. I don't want to get frustrated. I've been enjoying this so much, but thing as well they've stripped the characters away which is also the best part of the game the story and the characters that's what you know that's what you play for and they're basically taking it away oh jesus no because now barry and friggin um the sheriff aren't here the sheriff you know less so but barry was sort of like my fa one of my favorite parts of the game and now he's just sort of gone we need to flashbang because if i don't i'm gonna die Luckily, we've got nearly endless of those these days. Oh, I think you're the speedy boy. So at the very least, we can take you down. Is that everyone? Because I can really do with this generator on now, considering, you know, the fact I'm nearly dead. Thank you. Please don't be one of the ones that just randomly goes out for no particular reason. Can I take all the ammo in the world? Oh, we're at max shotgun rounds. At least I can say that. That's a good thing. There doesn't seem to be all that much around. I can hear enemies as well, which is always ominous as fuck. Shit. 
But when you've... Uh, uh, again, I'm sorry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a few complaints during this because I am a little bit frustrated. Um, when you've taken on the enemies you're meant to be so scared of so many times, they're no longer scary. Like, I am in no way even nervous of these things. Like, even hearing their sounds, unless they jump scare me, they no longer really threaten me. Now, even if they jump scare, it's... You know, jump scares are like the cheapest form of horror, really. And it's just like... I'm no longer really creeped out by this. I know it's much more of a thriller than a horror game anyway, but... I don't know, it just all adds up to make a... Rel relatively weak final chapter so far. I mean, it feels like the fighting and driving section should already be over. And now I'm wasting my precious resources because I'm bored of the fights. But now I'm probably going to shut up about that and we're going to get back in. Because uh, I don't like complaining about games until after I've finished them. <laughs> Unless they're really heinous, which this game is not. Like, this game is absolutely still fantastic and one of the most interesting games I've played in a while, that's for sure. And I can't wait, can't wait to see what Remedy do with Quantum Break and, um, and Control. But I also do really want whatever the hell they're hiding in here. What's this? Ah, flashbangs. Good, because I've been wasting so very many of those. There's also that constant whirring, man. It sounds like something much more intense and impactful is meant to happen, but it, nothing does. Because you hear that sound so constantly. And I mean, they already blew there. Oh god, you're being attacked by a literal freaking farming machine so early on in the game that it's no longer really that te Yeah, I'm dead. It's no longer really that intense and we're stuck here again. We're all the way back here. Oh my god. Well, we're back. And there's even more fast dudes. Just go away. Just go away. I don't want you here. You're ruining everything. Right. Is that a good idea? You know what? Fuck it. Drop a fucking flare. No one can touch me unless they throw things. Are you gonna... Are you gonna leave or are you gonna stay here? What the hell was that? Fine. Burn up in the light for all I care. I... Jesus, you're annoying. Right. Could really use some more shotgun ammo. I didn't use nearly as many flashbangs and it... My shotgun really paid for it. But hey, it got me here. It got me here a lot safer too. I don't think I got hit once. Well done, me. I don't even see what that is. Is that in any way threatening to us? I mean... Alan, what's the problem? It wasn't even coming towards you. We've seen an entire... We've literally seen a tornado rip up a road. And we were fine with that. It's almost trying not to hit us. It's not even close. Oh my god, okay, fair enough. That's an entire freaking boat. What the hell? Ow. What? Oh, I think I stood on a mine. Okay, oops. Oh, is that transcript or manuscript? Sorry, no. Then why? Huh. I think I might have accidentally just avoided a massive fight there. Sorry, guys. Ah, but to be fair, I'm not exactly complaining. Not- I- I could do with a break from the combat. Oh, are we even mean- are we even meant to be up here or is- Or are they just making the chests way more obvious than they used to be? The darkness wears her fa- yep, we know, Cynthia. Jesus, you're a psychopath. It's all you want to say, isn't it? At least we got our ammo back. Maybe I should have been using it. The darkness controls the tick. Yep. Fully aware. Fully aware, lady. You don't gotta tell me. Oh, good. Okay, we can get out this way. Thank you for the checkpoint, game. Kind of getting desperate for it. Oh, we're gonna have to hold out. Of course we are. Great. Well, what exactly is turning this on gonna do? Luckily, there's no enemies around just yet. So I can give it a try. It's turned the elevator on. Okay, interesting. Oh, I forgot we have endless flare gun rounds. In which case, prepare to die, you fucking arsewipes. Where's the rest of you? There's a big motherfucker over there. I think he might be a um, chainsaw man. No, you don't, you little idiot. Go away. Okay. Did he just get electrocuted? <laughs> what 
What a goddamn idiot! That was great! Also, I think we might have just missed that guy. I think I'm gonna aim a little bit upwards from where I'm uh, trying to get, at least with this thing. And let's put this guy down as quick as we can. Don't wanna waste yet another flare on him, no matter how many we have. Yeah, chainsaw dudes take an absolute endless amount of bullets, huh? Was that it? Was that all they had for me? Fair enough, I guess the speedy dude must have run into the electricity. Hi, guys! Jesus! Give me a warning next time, would ya? There we go, now let's take the extra ammo we got in here. Man, I am never ever gonna run out. Now, no stitch, Alan. We got work to do. Let me guess, it's gonna take an hour. No? Yep! Absolutely! Flare time immediately. There we go. Okay, you're weak. So I don't particularly- Where have you gone? Where did they go? Did they burn up in the flare? I've never seen that happen before. Is that even possible? I guess so. Not a big fan of the light turning out. Damn it! What's gonna meet us right at the top of here, huh? No, 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 no! I hate myself. Why is that an option? Who wants to go back down? Who who chose to go back down? And why? You can just jump back off. It'll be so much easier. There you go. Oh my fucking hell. Ugh. Frustration. I just wanted that manuscript page. And I mean, which side of the door opens? It is this one. So, what was... Saying open, I don't know. Uh, the way After through the dark blood, place. I stood alone in the shifting dream that was the dark place. I had to find a way to the cabin. I'd written myself a way through this place in the manuscript. I followed the idea of a path. I'd written myself across the ocean that blocked my way, and with that, there was a bridge to the island beyond. The idea of the cabin flickered in the underwater darkness. I willed the cabin to be real, and it was. It's back, huh? Wait, so Zane's gonna appear? Oh boy! I'm excited for that, it's been a while. And I like Zane, I wanna learn more about him, like... You really think you're still gonna be able to- Oh good. That one's just a bit mean, to be honest. Are you making some kind of Transformer Megatron shite? What's going on? You're not exactly scary. Is that literally all you've sent to me? I have 13 flashbangs. Prepare to feel my damn wrath. And you, shitwipe. Oh, you're everywhere, aren't you? It's more flashbangs, then. Try and come at me. See where it gets you. You're all pathetic. Like, what do you want? Do you really think this is gonna help? I can burn up anything in my way. As soon as we get rid of this uh, boat, and it'll all be fine. I can't even be bothered to wait. We're just gonna, just gonna reload it with batteries. Are you really gonna take this long? This, I have never seen anything take this long. There we go. Whoa! Anyone see that dude hidden in it? Was that meant to happen? Ow! Come on! What even is that rising from the goddamn? Ow! How is that even possible? Oh, okay, this one we actually need to get past. That doesn't mean people are chasing us, does it? No, they probably can't get past it either, luckily. You're cutting off half your damn army. Oh, boy. I mean, that's a complete lie. Why would she have stayed with me? I'm a dick. Hmm. I'm currently wandering towards a tornado and, uh, very much questioning my decisions. This doesn't seem like a good idea at all! What are we doing, Alan? And how are we doing it? Like, isn't the thing gonna take us off our feet or push us away? One of the two. Oh, I thought I saw a little uh, flash there. It looks like we're jumping into it. 
and I have never ever felt more stupid. Can I aim at it? No. Oh god, okay. Ah, knew that was coming. Alright, drop a flare, drop a flare, we can... Oh, flashbang, I guess that works too. Oh, that's coming right for me. Oh, there's never a good way to dodge that shit. You basically need a flare active or you're dead, is how that shit works. Yeah, probably not. I'm running into it with the lowest amount of health ever. Oh my god. Am I just going to be constantly flare gunning at it? This is great. I love this. What I want to know is, is it freaking working? It doesn't look like it. Oh, maybe I'm meant to jump into it. Maybe that's why. Let's fully load the flare gun. You will fail. Oh! You said I fail right as you start screeching? There you go! I thought I killed it just then. Why are you still trying to convince me of that? I mean, isn't that already proven now? I guess the doctor- I guess Emile must have been a puppet too. Why would you drop the flare gun? This is the best weapon in the game. You're just like, nah, we'll be fine. This could very well just still be a psychopath suicide. We don't know. <laughs> Wait, this is exactly what Zane did, though. But he didn't have the clicker. Why would you belly flop, you fucking idiot? He just dies on impact. Shh, baby. You were having a bad dream. It was just another nightmare. But you look terrifying. Everything's fine. You're home. It wasn't a dream. Everything Look outside, fine. Alan! Turn the lights on! Turn the lights on! No. Shh, baby. The power's out. There's no light. Come back to bed and I'll make you forget all about your fear in the dark. My fear? It's your fear. Why aren't you afraid? You're not Alan. Turn the lights on though. now! Where's the clicker? What did you do with it? Alan, honey, you're still one foot in a dream. You're not making any sense. Come back to bed. Never! What, you're saying my entire life was a damn Alan, dream then? You're scaring me now. Come back to bed. Have you taken your pills? Do you want me to call ah! your apartment? Absolutely not! That's the last I thing really I want you to do. You're in my way. It's brilliant. Departure is your best work yet. You're a genius. I'm so proud of you. Come back to bed. We'll talk more about it in the morning. Ha <laughs> ha! Luckily, our house has two doors! What you gonna do about that, you terrifying darkness psycho? Ugh! What am I burning? What was that? I have no idea what I just did. Have we just found Tom floating? Hey, buddy! You must find your way to the cabin. It stands in your way. It won't let you pass. It has no heart. It's filled with darkness. You must fill its heart with light. Okay, Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Whoa! Is it a me? Don't mind him. He's Mr. Scott. Your friends will meet him when you're gone. What? What? Oh no, I'm even more confused! Use the clicker. Mr. Scratch? Um, telephone pole, shopping cart, path, phone. What? Thermos! Obviously, that's exactly what we need. We don't want a bird. It's not what we want at all. Now, I think shopping cart will make something that's coming for me, won't it? 
What does phone do? Do I need to make the whole thing? I guess I can. Oh, I thought that was coming for me for a sec. A crate. Telephone pole. Let's load this thing. What the hell happened to all of my... What happened to my super fucking... My super badass death ray flashlight. I want it back. We just gave a bird life. What the hell? What is this, man? This is insane. I'm leaving. Why can I build this? What? I'm leaving you, Alan. I met someone. I'm in love with someone else. Alice? No, what do you say? You can't. You don't love me. How could you? You don't even love yourself. All you do is torture yourself with work you can't do anymore. No, I, I love you more than anything in the world. You're, you're my muse. I'm not. Who are you? What have you done with my What did that just say? I'm pretty sure I didn't do this. But what if it had? Alan, you could be a psychopath. How are you not Zane? I promise to be good. Please. What? I will help you your masterpiece. I will love you forever. No, you're not Barbara Jagger. I made a terrible mistake. I should have never went your back. You came back wrong. Your heart is filled with darkness. Put that light he on sounds me. just like me. But we could both be psychopaths. We could be no, Thomas Zane's alter ego, like schizophrenia bullshit. What's going on? We've willed the cabin into existence. I probably don't need to make all that stuff. But Get I'm doing it anyway, head. just because why not? Let me go. Alice, Alice, I'm coming. Your husband refused to do as he was told. All he had to do was write what I wanted him to write. Oh no, I wanted to read that. Oh, damn it, I wanted to listen. Oh, it's one of the terrifying syphilis horses again. Oh boy. Now you will never get her back. Well, I've got a flashbang. Can I replace I your cold, dead heart? You. Yep, that, that was that much was obvious. Thank you. Art. I will find a new face to wear. Uh, someone else to dream me free. Aww, what a lovely hug. Not nice! I could feel Alice's presence close by. You could, huh? I understood what I had to do now. I knew how to write the ending to departure. But haven't we already killed there's the demon? There's Why does it matter? Cause and effect. There's guilt and there's atonement. But the scales always need to balance. Everything has a price. That's where Zane had gone wrong. So who are we killing? There's a long journey through the night back into the light.
imagine being like absolutely terrified of the dark and having to swim through deep water like that. Did Alan sacrifice himself? To the point where he maybe never existed again, like he did with Thomas like Thomas Zane did at the end after he'd already made the mistake? <laughs> Happy dear fest. <laughs> oh, they all lived. Well, except maybe. Sticky, what's his name? No, even Rose lived, so is the Sticky Boy still alive? Uh-oh. What? Oh, no. It's not a lake. It's an ocean. Alan, wake up. What? Oh, man! What a great ending! An absolute sequel bait, but that's fine when the game's ancient. <laughs> Dude! I'm I'm just left questioning so much, plus the DLC is already out, so I can probably find out what any of that meant uh, through the DLC. So I really hope you guys enjoyed that. That is my first Remedy game ever. And I've... I, I've hey! A little bit of Bowie. Now, this is absolutely going to get copyright claimed. I'm fully aware of that, but that's fine. Um, as long as, you know, it's only third party, whatever. We'll be okay. Thank you, guys, so much for watching. I've basically said all my gripes with this game uh, already. Other than that, I really enjoyed it. It was an incredibly unique experience. Um, with a great soundtrack, too. It was a very, very atmospheric game. Um, slightly, ha well... Hampered only by its focus on combat for some reason, but um, it was I really really enjoyed it as my first delve into a remedy game I really it, it's made me very excited for both quantum break and control later this month And I really hope you guys enjoyed just as much as I did and we will be back very very soon With the DLC and American Nightmare, which I believe is sort of a spin-off kind of a standalone kind of thing Not really sure, but yeah I had so much fun, I hope you guys did too, and I'll see you in the next one. Please like, subscribe, comment, do all that great stuff, it really does help out the channel. And I'm sure if you go on, um, there'll be something else for you to watch, there's a lot of stuff that has happened going on right now. There's a lot of good stuff going on the channel right now, we got a lot of good series going, we got a lot of stuff in the past, and we're going to have a lot of stuff in the future, and I'm sure you'll find something that is for you. So if you go and watch something else, or wait around for the DLC, I would really appreciate it. But for now, the strike signing off! And I'll see you if there's after credits. Uh-huh. Goodbye!
Alan Wake's journey through the night will continue. Okay, please tell me that's the end of the credits. Oh, oh, there's no after credits. I'm surprised. Well, I'm really excited, man. Because, so Alan is now forever, he sacrificed himself and he's staying in the sort of dark version of the, um, the, 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 the cabin, right? Oh boy. I imagine this is a demo. Remember when games had demos at the like if you left it on the start screen too long? Yeah, um So I imagine that's what's happened. I wonder what happens if we hit continue. I imagine it will just take us back. So episodes Normal. Aha! Special one, the signal and the rider. Well that is what we will be coming back for soon. Man, I really love the um the the connection between Alan Wake and Major Tom and the, 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 the ah it was the perfect ending song and it just ah, made me all happy. That was a really I that was a great ending. I really really enjoyed that ending. The the things it implies the mm, good stuff, good stuff. And I guess I guess I'll see you guys. In oh god I've got to do this again. In the signal. And the Rider DLC. And then American Nightmare that will come, blah, 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 blah. So, once again, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, comment, shares. All that stuff really does help me out. I would really appreciate it if you could. But for now, this is where we'll leave it. So, this is Strike signing off. And if you're still, for some reason, here and stuck through the credits, well done. You gave... You, proud of you. Thanks for the watch time. Goodbye! <laughs>